After watching this video, you'll be comfortable using Zoom breakout rooms. This beginner Zoom tutorial is going to show you how to use breakout rooms as a host and also as a participant. I'm Marcia Chadley from the Creative Life Center with some simple Zoom tips for you. We're going to walk through the host experience, how to create breakout rooms, how to move people around in them, how to pop in and visit the breakout rooms, how to end them, how to send messages to people in the breakout rooms. We'll cover all of that. And then we're going to look at the participant experience so that you know what it's like as a participant going into a breakout room and getting out of a breakout room, getting help from a breakout room. At the end of the video, we'll come back together and I'm going to share some best practices for using breakout rooms. So especially as a host, you'll want to know how to help your participants feel comfortable and enjoy the experience of being split out into breakout rooms. So let's get started by looking at breakout rooms as a host. As the host of a Zoom call or Zoom meeting, you can use the breakout room feature really easily. You look at the bottom of your screen, find the breakout room control, click that, and you're going to see this dialog open up. It's telling me I have four participants in this particular Zoom call. I can choose how many rooms to break them up into. I can do them automatically or I can do them manually. I'm going to put them into two rooms, which will mean I have two participants for, per room. And right now I'm going to show you how to do this automatically. So I say create rooms. Now this is not putting people into the rooms yet. It's telling me who's going to go into the room. So I have George and Harry in one room, Muriel and Ronnie in the other room. If I want, if I decide I don't really want to have George and Harry in here, I could exchange Harry with Ronnie. So I have a little bit of control and I can adjust things even if I have something set up automatically to begin with. Now there's some options down here that I want to show you also. So I could set up to move everybody into breakout rooms automatically rather than have that choice. I can allow participants to return to the main session at any time they want and later on in the video I'll show you what a participant's view looks like so you can see what that would be like. I can set up a particular time. I want breakout rooms to close automatically after say two minutes or four minutes, whatever you want. I can be notified myself when that time is up. I can have a countdown after closing the breakout room. And what that is, is after this two minutes, it would start a timer. It would notify people they're closing and it would give them that many seconds. Let's give them 10 seconds before the room actually closes and pops them back into the main room. So those are the different settings that you can play with depending on how you want things to operate. You can add in another room if you want to, move people around. This recreate button we'll get to in a minute. It's what you want to have happen when you want to do breakout rooms the next time. So you're doing them twice. So as soon as you have the rooms all set up the way you want, you could also move somebody to a particular room. So I could move Muriel to breakout one, move, let's just put her back to breakout two. Now I'm going to open all the rooms. So this is the point where everyone will get a notice to join their room. I'm going to open the room. And then I have this, I have a little notice that you can't see on my screen. This is all participants have been invited to join the breakout rooms. So as they join, we will get a notice that they've gone into the room. Now everybody is in their breakout rooms. I can close all rooms if I don't want to wait for those, the two minutes, the four minutes, that whatever you set up. And I also have a timer up here. So I know I've got a little bit over three minutes left on the timer in the breakout rooms. Now people in the breakout rooms cannot hear you talking. You stay in the main room, but you can broadcast a message to everybody. So I can say, hello. You have three minutes left. Or anything else I want to share with the group. And they will get that message. 
I can also join a particular group. So I can click join, join breakout room one. And now I've joined breakout room one. They know I'm there. They can see my picture if I have my video on. If I don't have the video on, they would see my name or whatever image I have when I don't have my video on. And I can talk with them. Now they can hear me, they can ask me questions, I can just listen if I'm doing a, a teaching and I need to know what they're talking about. At any time, I can leave the room. I can just leave that breakout room. Going back to the main session, I'm now back in the main session. They're still in their breakout rooms, which I can see. I can see how much time they have left. And at this point, I'm going to close all the rooms and have them come back. And so here's the, the countdown for the 10 seconds I've given them. They can also leave immediately and come back. And I can see them as they come back. And once they're all back, I'll also see them on my screen. Now it's as simple as that to use the breakout rooms. And the next time you want to use the breakout room, click that icon, you're going to get the exact same breakout rooms back. However, you don't have to use those. You can recreate down here. You can choose how many rooms. You can change that. You can recreate all the rooms and it will change things around. So let's close that. That's all there is to it as a host. Really easy. I'm going to walk you through what the participant sees and what their experience is like so, like so that you can help your participants. And then after I've done that, I'm going to come back and give you some best practices, some tips for using breakout rooms in your meetings and your calls. Let's see what the participant experience is like as far as joining a breakout room, leaving a breakout room, being in a breakout room. It's important for you as a host to know what participants are going to experience and it can make you comfortable as a participant to see this before you actually are invited into a breakout room and a Zoom call or a Zoom meeting. So now the host of this meeting has invited me to join breakout room one. I don't know who's going to be in it. I don't know how many people are going to be in it based on this dialogue. I just join. So now I'm in the breakout room and I'm waiting for somebody else to join in with me. Here they come. I'm now in a breakout room with George. We can talk back and forth and then the host can come in and join us if they want. But until they do, it's just the two of us talking. Nobody else can see or hear what we're saying. I have a control down here. I can ask for help. If I click on this, that's going to give a notification to the host and they can come in and come help me. I can leave the breakout room. I can also see that the host has given us three more minutes. So George and I could stay in here and talk for three more minutes. Let's leave the breakout room and see what happens. Now at this point, I'm back in the main session. You notice George is gone because he's in our breakout room still all by himself. And I'm with the host. So I can talk to the host. I can say, oops, I really didn't mean to go back to the breakout room. I click my breakout rooms and I can join that breakout room again. Go back. I'm here with George who's wondering what the heck happened because he doesn't know. And now what I can do is hang out here. We can talk and tell the host lets us know that time is up. Now I just got a notice from the host. Hello, I'm gonna end this a bit early. And I can see down here now all the meeting rooms are gonna close in one second. I don't do anything, so I just get returned right to the meeting. And now everybody's back. Now if I wanted to, I'll show you what happens if the host says the meeting is stopping and I choose to come back instead of waiting for it to stop. We're in our breakout rooms again. I'm going to have the host close down the meeting and then I'm going to leave right away and show you how that works. I come down here to this blue button. I click, click leave breakout room and I'm out. 
Zoom breakout rooms are a really powerful tool to have and to use to help people get a more intimate experience, especially in larger groups. It gives them a chance to talk to a few people and share their thoughts without feeling like they're sharing to the whole Zoom meeting. At the same time, some people who've never been in a breakout room may feel uncomfortable. They won't know what's going to happen. So you as a host need to do some things to help them enjoy the whole experience. Let's talk about a few easy best practices for helping people to enjoy and really get the full benefit out of a breakout room. The first tip is to address their fears. Let them know, say, hey, you know, I know some of you have never been in a breakout room before. You may be worried about it or even scared. Let me tell you what's going to happen because I want you to be able to really enjoy this and get the full experience of our time together by being an active part of this breakout room. And then let everybody know what you're going to do. Talk to them about how many people to expect once they get in the breakout room. Remind them that there's a control, of the a control at the bottom of the window that they can use to invite you into the breakout room. And then they can leave the breakout room or even the meeting at any time using the control at the bottom of their screen. You can also let them know whether or not you as a host plan on coming into their breakout room uninvited. You might say, you know, especially if you're doing a training and you need to monitor what's happening a little bit, you can say, I'm going to pop in. I'm going to have my video off. I'm just going to be listening for a few minutes. You can just ignore me and pretend I'm a fly on the wall unless you have a specific question and then let me know and I'll be happy to talk to you. Whatever it is that you want to do um, when you're working with these breakout rooms, let people know how long they're going to be in the breakout room so that they have an understanding and send them one of those broadcast messages maybe halfway through and say or toward the end and say you have two minutes left you have one minute left something to help them remember that this is going to be ending and they're going to be coming back to the big group the other thing that you can do to help people enjoy being in a breakout room is to give them specific directions Maybe even a simple question to get them started to introduce them to each other if they don't know each other. Or have them do some personal reflection before they get in the breakout room and ask them to start by sharing how that was for them or a small piece of what that was. Give them something specific to do when they get in to get them started. And once they get started, things will flow more easily. So now it's your turn. Set up your meeting invite people and experiment with these breakout rooms. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with them.